Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Casey Montoya. Today, Apple announces the iPhone 5, Nintendo divulges Wii U launch details, Nikon debuts the D600, a new bill is introduced that will require warrants to search emails, and the first color film is discovered. If you were on the internet yesterday, chances are you heard of the iPhone 5. Apple took the wraps off his sixth iPhone model in Cupertino, California. The new device has all the upgrades you expect, faster processor, thinner and lighter frame, and slightly larger screen. It also has a new operating system and updated design. A new version of iTunes was also confirmed, and a redesigned iPod Touch and iPod Nano were unveiled with new earbuds called EarPods. The new iPhone will be available September 19th. Earlier today, Nintendo revealed the final details for its upcoming Wii U console launch. The console will launch in North America November 18th and come in two pricing bundles. For $300, you can buy the basic version, which will come with an 8GB Wii U, or for $350, you can buy the deluxe version, which will have 32GB of storage, a cradle for the Wii U gamepad, a mini game collection called Nintendo Land. The Wii U will fully be compatible with Wii controllers as well. In addition to the pricing, Nintendo also revealed Nintendo TV. It's a new service that will let you manage all of your TV sources, including TiVo, Hulu, DVR, and Netflix. Social network support will also be included, and you'll be able to view extra content about the TV you're watching on the live Wii U gamepad screen. The new service will be included with the Wii U at no additional cost. Budget photography enthusiasts, we have good news. Nikon unveiled today its first full-frame DSLR, costs less than $3,000. The new D600 packs a 23.4 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, 39-point autofocus system, dual SD card slots, 1080p HD video capture capabilities, and a 3.0-inch LED display. While the D600 costs less than either the Nikon D800 or professional grade D4, the body alone will still run you $2,100. Add a 24 to 85 millimeter lens and you're looking at about $2,700 for the package. That D600 goes on sale next week. Thanks to an outdated law, police are currently able to read nearly any email without first obtaining a warrant. But a new bill expected to be introduced to the Senate today by Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont would change all of that. If Leahy's bill passes through Congress, law enforcement would be required to provide probable cause before gaining access to citizens' email records. While privacy advocates and email providers like Google, Apple, and Microsoft all support such changes, other personal data could still be accessed by police without a warrant, including email addresses, IP addresses, and the names of people you communicate with on the web. Researchers at the National Media Museum of the United Kingdom have discovered the first film shot in natural color. The footage, which shows children, a parrot, soldiers marching, and other random scenes, was shot in 1902 by Edward Raymond Turner, who patented the process for creating color film in 1899. Viewers in the UK can learn more about the film on The Race for Color, That'll air on the BBC on Monday, September 17th. That does it for this edition of BT Daily. Check back later for our review of Panasonic's SCHTD350, an innovative soundbar that can actually snap in half and alternatively serve as two separate speakers.